Hello friends, today we will discuss the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor. To understand the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor, the single phase induction motor operation is explained with the help of To understand the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor, principle of double revolving field theory is utilized here. As per the double revolving field theory, there are two rotors which will rotate in the opposite direction. One is called the forward rotor circuit, so in which the direction of the synchronous speed is clockwise direction and also the rotor speed which is called n is also in the clockwise direction. And there is another rotor called backward rotor circuit. In that case, the stator magnetic field or synchronous speed is in the clockwise direction whereas the rotor direction is in the anti-clockwise direction. Keeping these directions in mind, so we calculate what is the slip for forward rotor circuit and similarly for backward rotor circuit. So for the forward rotor circuit, the slip is given by Ns minus N divided by Ns. Here Ns is state or magnetic field speed rotating in the clockwise direction and its sign is positive like this. Similarly, there is a rotor rotating in the clockwise direction. Its sign also plus difference we are taking in the numerator. So we put Ns minus N divided by Ns. This is the slip for the forward rotor circuit. From this, we can calculate rotor speed n in terms of the slip and the synchronous speed as 1 minus s into ns. So this s is called the forward slip or simply s. Next, backward rotor circuit. In the backward rotor circuit, the stator magnetic field rotates in the clockwise direction whereas the rotor rotates in the anti-clockwise direction n like this. So the sign of the rotor direction is negative in this case with respect to the previous forward rotor circuit. So the slip for backward rotor circuit is represented by Sb that is equal to synchronous speed ns minus of rotor speed here rotor is rotating in the anti clockwise direction so it will get the minus sign so minus n divided by ns once we simplify this we get ns plus n divided by ns if you further simplify we get 1 plus n by ns that is ns by ns will become 1 plus n by ns and we know forward slip s yes, definition is ns minus n divided by ns so from that we can also write uh, the speed of the rotor as 1 minus s yes into ns so from this we can also write n by ns is equal to 1 minus s yes. so this forward slip can be related with this backward slip by substituting here that is sb is equal to 1 plus in place of n by ns we write 1 minus s yes. so once we simplify it we get 2 minus s yes for the backward rotor circuit once we know this we can draw a circuit equal in circuit for the single phase induction motor like this so this is the input voltage called V1, this is called the input current and this is the 
stator resistance surface and x1 is the stator reactance surface and whereas here xm by 2 xm means it is the magnetizing current uh, inductive branch so, or simply magnetizing reactance xm because the circuit is divided into two parts that is forward path and the reverse path so it will also be divided as into two parts that is xm by 2 so which will be in the forward uh, path and xm another uh, xm by 2 is in the uh, reverse circuit that is backward circuit xm by 2 and the induced emf across the forward rotor is represented with ef whereas the induced emf across the backward rotor is represented with eb and here x2 dash means it is the reactance of the rotor referred to the straight out side or primary side because the circuit is consists of two equal parts one is forward path the other is uh, reverse path or backward path so this x2 dash is divided into two parts that is x2 dash by 2 one part will come here in the forward path circuit similarly remaining x2 dash by 2 will come in the backward path circuit Similarly, R2 dash means it is the resistance of the rotor referred to the straight or side. Because there are two equal circuits here, forward path and the backward path, that rotor resistance is divided into two parts that is R2 dash by 2, here also R2 dash by 2, but it is each circuit is also associated with the slip forward for the forward path the slip is yes so r2 dash by 2s is the resistance of the rotor referred to the state or side with respect to the forward path whereas r2 dash by 2 into 2 minus s is the Resistance of the rotor referred to the state or side when referred to the backward path. So in the backward path we have seen the slip is 2 minus s. So that 2 minus s will come in the denominator for the backward path. Whereas for the forward path only s will come in the denominator. The effective impedance of the two branches in the forward path is represented with ZF that is called the forward impedance. Similarly, the backward circuit net impedance is represented with ZB. The equivalent circuit will change for the blocked rotor test condition. Similarly, for the no load rotor test condition. Suppose we take the blocked rotor test condition, so means the rotor is at standstill or very low speed. In that case, Xm by 2 is much much greater than R2 dash by 2s. the forward path whereas in the reverse path xm by 2 is much much greater than r2 dash divided by 2 minus s into 2. So large slip means the slip which is more than 5 percent is called the large slip. So under this large slip condition blocked rotor test condition in the equivalent circuit, Xm by 2 branch 
the forward path and in the reverse path can be neglected that is we can uh, open circuit this xm by 2 branches in the forward path and also in the reverse path like this here it is open circuit here also it is open circuit Next, coming to the no-load test conditions, under no-load test condition, the rotor rotates at higher speed, so the slip value is very low. In that case, R2 dash by 2S, which is in the forward path, is much, much greater than XM by 2. So, in that case, R2 dash by 2S is open circuited. Whereas in the reverse path, xm by 2 is much much greater than R2 dash divided by 2 minus 2s. So, so in the forward path, R2 dash by 2s branch is open circuited, whereas in the reverse path, xm by 2 is open circuited as shown below. So in the forward path R2 dash by 2s is open circuited because of its higher value and here xm by 2 is very high value so it is also open circuited here. So this is the equivalent circuit of the single phase induction motor under no load condition whereas this is the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor under blocked rotor conditions. Now to get the values of its X2 dash and R2 dash, we utilize no load test and also blocked rotor test on single phase induction motor. As we have discussed earlier from the blocked rotor test, the impedance ZB is obtained using VB by IB. Similarly, the block rotor test resistance RB is obtained using the WB divided by IB square and also XB is obtained using this ZB and RB that is uh, root of ZB square minus RB square. Similarly, X1, X2 dash can be obtained because these two are approximately equal so there is x1 is equal to x2 dash is equal to xb by 2. This xb is obtained from the blocked rotor test from here. So then r2 dash we get using the formula that is rb which is obtained earlier rb minus r1. r1 is the state or resistance of the induction motor. Similarly having known all these values we can calculate what is xm by 2. From the no load test, we know z0 is nothing but v0 by i0, r0 is equal to w0 divided by i0 square, x0 is equal z0 square minus r0 square. Taking that x0 into account, we can calculate xm by 2 is equal to x0 minus x1 minus x2 dash by 2 and from that we can write like this x0 minus xb by 2 because it is related here x1 is equal to xb by 2 similarly x2 dash is also related with xb by 2 so it will become here xb by 4 so then after simplification we get x0 is e, uh, x m by 2 is equal to x0 minus 3 by 2 xb. Here r0 is equal to r1 plus r2 dash divided by 2 into 2 minus s. Yes. So if you observe the previous equation that is x0 and this circuit you can find like this. X0 is equal to X1 plus Xm by 2 plus X2 dash by 2 is the 
total reactance which is represented by x0 or which is obtained from the no load test and this is the no load equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor so we have seen it, how to get the equivalent circuit of single phase induction motor using the for the double revolving field theory of single phase induction motor and also by using the blocked rotor test and also no load test on the single phase induction motor